Hello, my name is Robin Sutherland and I'm a member of the Pikes Peak Weavers Guild and we're so happy to be partner, partnering with the Colorado Springs Pioneers Museum for the Festival of Lights celebration. And we're here to share with you a craft called CD weaving. So I'm going to show you a few examples and then we'll um, show you how, how to do it. Uh, CD weaving uses an old CD that's maybe not useful anymore to um, do some weaving and you can make beautiful designs. Um, the holidays are coming and you could use these as Christmas tree ornaments or sometimes you might want to celebrate your favorite uh, athletic team with the colors that are our uh, company your athletic team. It's easy to add beadwork to your work uh, to make it a bit more shiny and attractive. And there really is no wrong way to do it. It just is a lot of fun. So things that you could do with your CD weaving after it's finished is you can hang it on a wall or you can hang it in a window. I like to use mine as uh, coasters under drinks to protect the furniture. And it just is fun, a fun activity to do, and especially around the holidays if you're using um, some yarn that is maybe red, white, and green. So my friend Kathy is going to come next, and she's going to show you how to make these beautiful weavings. I'm Kathy Sterling, as Robin said, and I'm going to show you how to do weaving with a CD. So these are the basic supplies that you'll need. is an old CD that you don't want to use anymore, a popsicle stick, a flexible needle that can be um, easily moved and flexed, um, some yarn that you're going to wrap onto a popsicle stick. So we recommend about four yards to start off with. And what you're going to do is you're going to take this stick that you've wrapped with a, um, with a, on the popsicle stick, and you have to make sure when you wind it on the stick that it's e even across here so that it can fit through the hole of the CD when you're, when you're going through. So the first thing that you're going to do is start by putting an end over the end of the over the edge of the CD and you're going to tape that down with some masking tape. And then you're going to wind the CD, you're going to warp the CD in sections. So pretend like it's a clock. And you just go through the center of the hole, out to the edge, over the edge, and back through. Like that. And this is one where I've already warped in um, one of the sections. So what we want to do is have an uneven number of spokes um, total. So you're going to have about six to seven in each quadrant and then um, the last one you're going to want to be counting carefully and have an uneven number of total spokes. And then when you finish with getting the whole, this is a finished um, warped CD, you can either tape the ends of the, um, of the yarn. You can either tape them to the back um, loosely or you can tie like a little knot and then that will be something that you'll be able to use the warp ends um, to hang if you want to use it as an ornament. So that's how we will get started. And then you take your needle and we're going to take this pretty purple yarn and I'm going to cut off uh, maybe about this much, maybe about 18 inches. And I'm going to thread the needle. And then I'm going to just start weaving. 
And to weave, you're going to go under, over, under, over, all the way around. And um, a little trick to get started is to know that it's easier to use your needle in the wide part. I wish I were left-handed. I could do this better. Um, if you put the needle in and out through the wide part of the spokes instead of the skinny part, that's a lot easier. So you're just going to go over, under, over, under. All the way around. And I'm going to do that. And then we're going to show you what to do with the ends because what we don't want to do is make knots. Um, I mean, technically, there's no right or wrong way to do a CD weaving, but um, the knots might not look as nice as if you don't have any knots. So we're going to, I've done a whole row around. And because you have an uneven number of yarns on the uh, as spokes around the wheel, um, you're going to alternate each row so that some are over, some are under, and then they alternate and be the opposite on the next row. So um, when you're coming around, you're going to have the loose end kind of going up one of the centers of, the, of a spoke. And you're just going to cross over that and do another row. You just keep going over and under, over and under. It's easier if, you're, um, if you have the CD facing you rather than what I'm doing, showing it to the camera. But um, hopefully you get the idea. So you're going to weave a couple rows, and then you're going, to, you're going to take your needle, and you're going to tuck the end underneath what you've already woven. And that's a little, this is the hardest part to get started. Um, you're going to tuck it underneath. And I'm not doing a very good job of this right yet. It's probably best to do about three or four rows, actually. I'm rushing this. So now I'm going to do some more weaving. And um, I think I just m noticed that I made a mistake. So you can either go back and unweave where you made the mistake, because I must have gone over a couple of them, and I was ending up going over and under this very same ones, and I don't want to do that. All right. So that's where I went under. Okay. So... Sometimes the spokes move around a little bit, and you can just push them back so that they're all even. You want to have even spokes, kind of like the, a wagon wheel. All right. And you can do, you know, two or three times over and under the spokes at a time. And now I'm just going over the areas that I already wove. So here I'm going to tuck this yarn underneath so that you don't see it anymore. And then the rest is going to be really easy because you can just keep going lickety split. And any time that you're going to start a new yarn, you tuck it under your old, your weaving. So um, here's some other weaving that I've already done. And this is alternating, so you end up with like a spiral. And that's actually what's going over to, under to. And you end up with a spiral in the middle. And um, it's pretty decorative. Um, as you get out to the further part, the, in, the warp yarns, these brown yarns, will get kind of covered. And um, so you won't see the spiral as well, but it's still kind of fun. 
um, this, this CD is done with an even number of yarns. And um, you have two different yarns that are going kind of at the same time where you weave around and around and around with, with one yarn and then you start the other color. If you did it all the same, always, you would end up going over and under the exact same spokes and you don't want to do that unless you're doing an um, even number. Um, and this is one where uh, I wove for a little while one direction and then went back another direction with one color and did the, did the same thing with another color. And that's where you can end up with like a spiral kind of weave. Um, when this is a finished CD, so you're going to take the yarn and go all the way, all the way up to the top as far as you can go. And then what I like to do, and I can't really show it too well, is I, I put the CD between my knees to hold it, and then I tie the ends um, in, a, in a square knot. I don't know if you can see that, but there's a little square knot at the very edge. And then what you can do is um, you can either tie it in a, a little knot up here so that you can hang it like a Christmas ornament like Robin mentioned earlier. Or you can um, take the needle and weave it back underneath the weaving that you've already done. And that would be the finished one. And then you can hang it on a tree. Mm -hmm.